Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my five most commonly used in-map scan options, right? And, you know, these are op scan options that I think everyone should know. So in previous videos, I've shown you how to do, you know, basic scans, like how to scan a particular port, how to scan, do a service scan, and check versions of um, the software running on the open ports. So I've shown you those scans. So um, I'm going to show you some more advanced scans today. Um, all right, but before we get started, I need to read a, my disclaimer. All right, guys, so as you know, um, all the demonstrations, all the hacking that I do on Hacker 101 channel, I do this on equipment that I own. I have permission. There's nothing illegal going on here. So I don't, you know, I don't um, support any illegal activity. And you should always have permission before you do any hacking activities. All right, so with that being said, um, Go ahead and load up. You can load up Kali Linux or whatever operating system where you have um, Nmap installed. And then I'm gonna, you open up a terminal in Kali. And um, the first command I'm going to show you, um, just make sure everybody knows, is the Nmap, the help scan. Uh, Nmap dash H. That's going to show you the help menu. So when I go through the different scans and show you the different options, if you want to refer back to the help menu, you can see um, what these scans actually mean. All right, so the first scan um, option I'm going to show you is how do you save your scan results to a text file? That way you can review them later. Or how do you um, save multiple scans to the same text file? That way you have one text file with all your scans. I'll show you both of those um, options. So what you do is just type in nmap. I'm going to scan my wireless router, which is 192.168.1.254. And I'm going to use right arrow that tells it to save the scans and you just give it a, a file name so i'll call it scans.txt and when you hit enter you're not going to see anything happening it's all going to um, put all the output into the scan.txt file so we'll review that file once the scan is complete and then after this scan is complete then i'm going to show we're going to perform a second scan and i'll show you how to save both scans to the same text file all right so if we do cat scans dot text you see here's the open ports and whatnot for my wireless router right all right let's say we want to scan a second machine and save to the same scans dot text like or all right 147 is my made exploitable server now if i if i were to run the scan just like this it's going to overwrite the scan results that are there now but if i add a second arrow that is going to tell it to append the text the results that are already in the text file so it'll save both of them so i'm going to hit enter and this will take a couple seconds to complete because metasploitable has quite a few open ports um, and this is handy it, like if you're scanning multiple machines and you want to save all the results to a text file that you can go back and review later um, so this is um, a very um, handy option so if we do cat scans, you'll see not only do we have the first scan, but we have the second scan of my um, made exploitable two server. All right, so that is the that is the first um, nmap command I wanted to show you. So the next scan I'm going to show you is called an aggressive scan. So do nmap dash capital A 192.168.1.254 .1 or whatever your IP address is that you're scanning and then just hit enter and an aggressive scan it's going to do several things it's going to check for the op it's going to try to detect the operating system it's going to check all the version of any software or open ports you know software the services that are running that's going to do a script scanning and what if you don't know nmap has pre, a set of pre-built scripts and it's called known as the nmap scripting engine that performs various security checks and you know looks for potential issues and other information then also it performs a trace route scan also so this scan will take a couple of minutes because of all everything that it's doing but this scan is going to give you the most details about your target right but let's say for example you know you're trying to avoid uh, an intrusion detection system that your client has you know on your on their network if you're trying to bypass that and not get flagged by that and get blocked 
then this scan is probably going to get detected by an intrusion detection system. So, you know, not in all cases would you use an advanced or an aggressive scan because it's pretty noisy. All right, so this should be completed in a couple of minutes, and then um, and I'll just you know just you know describe all the results for you. And and it does its best to um, detect operating systems and whatnot, but like in this result, you'll see um, it did it didn't detect the operating system, but it it will um, detect operating systems, and in most cases, um, see it's just done you know it shows us what the ports are open. The version of the software running on those ports you know it tried to detect my operating system other scan information and then you got your trace route information so that is a very detailed scan you know that gives you a lot of information to work with okay all right so the next scan option is a fast scan so we'll do nmap dash capital f 192.168.1.254 and what is the difference with a fast scan between a regular scan? A fast scan is going to only scan the most common 100 ports used, where a normal scan scans 1,000 ports. This is only going to scan 100 ports. So in the sake of time, if you want to do a quick scan, you would do a fast scan, and that's only going to show you the top 100 ports. Okay, all right, so... The next scan we're going to talk about is um, called the TCP SYN S Y N scan. That is also known as a half open scan. And what that scan is, you know, in layman's terms, it makes it connect, it sends a packet to your target, and if that port is open, it'll get, a, get an acknowledgement packet sent back, right? But at that point, Nmap doesn't complete the handshake, and so it doesn't get logged on your target servers um, and their logs, right? So in a normal scan, when you do a normal MAP scan, it's going to send out a, a packet, it's going to acknowledge it, and then it's going to do a complete a handshake, and that way it confirms that the server, the port is open. But the TCP send scan, so it's kind of an anonymous scan, and it's not, you know, leaving much traces, it's just going to look for that acknowledgement scan. It's not going to actually complete the handshake. So in some cases, the port may not be open, but the TCP, send scan is pretty pretty accurate and it doesn't leave much of a trace so to do that you'll type in nmap dash lowercase s capital s 192.168.1.254 like so and that's going to perform a tcp send scan and the purpose of this scan is so um there are no results in the log files and it's a more, it's a quieter scan it, it's going to be a scan that you would use to try not to be detected by an intrusion detection system and things like that all right you see it comes back with some the same results no, no different results it's just the handshake is not completed in the scan for anonymous purposes all right so another way to not trigger alarms like the tcp send scan is not going to trigger you know it's a quieter scan Another way to, um, you know, to stay undetected when you're doing an NMAP scan would to, to do a scan delay. And we would just use the same dash SS, but we're going to add a, you know, dash dash scan dash delay. And you, you'll, you'll set, set that something like 200 milliseconds. And what that does is that slows the scan down. You know, a TCP, you know, NMAP scans really quickly. And it looks suspicious, but if we were to slow the scan down, then it doesn't look so suspicious. So that may help you avoid some, you know, intrusion detection, um, you know, flagging you. I'm going to change this to 10 milliseconds for the sake of this video, but you would want to use a higher um, delay. But this is just going to slow the scan down a little bit, so it's um, not likely to trigger any alarms. And then after this, um, the fifth scan um, that I was going to show you, and then the last scan, um, it's called a fragment packet scan. That, that's the bonus scan that I'm going to teach you guys. Okay, so this should take just a couple more minutes. All right, same results. There was just a delay there to make the scan not run so quickly, to make it look a little more natural, right? And all right, so the last scan is in map. 
dash lowercase f. Okay. All right. My computer's acting a little crazy. And what this is a this is a, um, a fragment again, and the dash f option is going to instead of one big packet, it's going to break it up into smaller packets, and that's going to help you bypass certain firewalls or intrusion detection filters. So we'll type in dash f one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two fifty four. We hit enter. And it's going to come out with the same results, but it's not going to send one big packet or it's going to send multiple packets and to try to, you know, to bypass, you know, firewalls and IDS filter. And so that is the bonus scan, right? So I showed you guys quite a few um, advanced scans that I think will be helpful for you um, during your pen testing. And if you like the video, subscribe and um you know, give us questions, let's talk about it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you got. So um, hit the subscribe button. I hope you liked the video. All right, thanks.